Hello, hello, you're on Tony's with your Arc and Craft, and I'm Tony. Hi, hello. Alright, today, um, I didn't really feel like making anything, but I'm going to do something. <laughs> okay, well, as you can see from the title of this video, we're going to use, we're going to, um, upgrade an old planner. <laughs> I don't know how to word it. Okay, so at the beginning of the year, um, I had two different friends send me the same um, date book, planner. See, this is 2024, right? So I'm currently using one. It's out in the living room in my purse because I use it daily for all my, like, you know, uh, I write down when I have to go watch my friend's dogs, I, I write stuff down when I have to go to my physical therapy, or doctor's appointments, or when to pay a bill, like, it's all in it, right? Well, because it's now October, or mid-October, mid, mid um, I'm already needing to schedule, like, three or four months out of some of my doctor's appointments, right? So I need another planner to put all that stuff in for next year, right? But you can see this one is going to be outdated for next year, right? Well, I want to show you, in case you have extra planners that you need to use up somehow, I want to show you how to fix it so you can still use it, okay? And if you don't need an outdated planner for next year, you can always use it to as um, an art journal. Do art pages on it. But I do need a planner <laughs> for next year. So I'm going to show you. I think the last thing I'm going to do for this, um, we're going to work on the pages on the inside. And then I might redecorate the front. That, that that will be the last thing I do. And I'm not even 100% sure if I'll be able to decorate everything this year, or today. So this might be a two-parter. I'm not sure. Okay, so there is... I'm not going to do anything to the front, because they do have the 2025 here. Okay. And then over here for the holidays, they do have the 2024 and the 2025. So I just need to block all that out for next year. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use this wonderful and beautiful washi tape that I got from Bex over on Black Whisper Craft. Please go check her out. She's awesome. So let's open that box up. And so I'm going to take a washi tape and just go right down the center there. Cause I don't need to see that. Um, okay. I'm trying to pick the wa the right washi tape that goes this way instead of that way, you know, like for the pattern. <laughs> just go right down the center here. So how's everyone doing? I've been in a really weird mood since yesterday. So I didn't feel like making... Because behind the scenes right now I've been working on Christmas cards. Almost done. But I just didn't want to do any of that today. Okay, so. There. Am I out of frame? We'll say I have a friend this whole time. There we go. So that, so 2024 dates are covered up, and we got 2025. Because this planner is for next year, so. And then it's got, like, 
names, addresses, notes. Don't need to do anything to that. We've got the months. This is this is where I usually write everyone's birthdays down so I can remember. Um I'm not gonna worry about these pages here. Actually. Because I don't ever use the the full month spread ever, and I just use the days of the week. So I'm just gonna glue this paste together. I don't need it, and I don't want to have to like block anything out on the center of the page. Excuse the airplane noise going by. They get kind of loud over here. So, I'm going to glue this page together because I don't need it. And I don't want to have to block anything out. I mean, you could do a piece of artwork on there, but because this is going to be my everyday planner, not my art and craft planner. Because my, um, my art room, arts and craft planner, uh, I've been using the planner that Misty made me. But for next year, I think I'll take a, a compositional notebook and decorate it up. Bex is doing that right now. She's making a compositional, uh, decorated notebook slash planner type thing right now and I'm I think I'm gonna do one of those but I'm gonna wait until the end of next month to start on that one for next year. We're just gonna worry on this one for right now because I need a place where I can write in my alright so I glued those two pages together and this would be the first week for next year after the new year. So I just need to cover up see I just need to cover up the dates. So let's see. I wonder if these little ones would work. I'm just going to take some of this washi, this thin washi tape. Just go right down. Now those dates are covered up and I can go back in and I will put the correct dates right next to the days of the week. But I'll do that off camera. I'm just showing you how you can use this. And if your washi tape doesn't stick down very well, just put a little bit of glue down your washi tape and then stick it on and it will stay just fine. So I've got my glue bottle on here in case. Okay, so let's do this side next. So I got all the dates covered up. Now, um, I want to cover this top part up. 
just because I I'm not too fond of this just plain gray lines here and then the the dates here um I'll ha if I cover up the month actually hold on this is what I'm going to do I'm going to put a piece of blue We're going to put it on such a way that we're not going to cover up the month. Okay, we got blue. Hmm. Some of these are going to go sideways. <coughs> Now I just gotta do. See how I did that? Just the month that you're covered up, and I really don't need to know what year it is. <laughs> I'll know. If if you have to look at what year it is every day, then. You've got bigger problems. I don't usually use these either, so I could put some decorations in there, or this side, or this bottom. Um, I guess I probably should, but I, I, I won't. I really won't. <laughs> so, let's find something else. Flashy tape.
to make sure not to cut any of the words off here. Kind of covers up my son. I don't really put anything in Sunday anyway. as well. So I can put in there. This is going to be a new year. <laughs> this first page looks kind of messy. Huh? Okay. I do want 
Okie dokie. So, that's my first week for the new year, for next year. Can you see it okay? And I'm pretty much just covering up stuff that I will not be using at all. And I'm com covering up the dates because I'll go back through off camera and I'll be able to write in the correct date for that week. Okay. So yeah. Um, I hope this helps anyone that it it um it's really good for um outdated calendars too. Like if you have because I know um some of my friends receive free calendars in the mail and so they they've got multiple calendars for the same year and if you like the images in the calendar just go back through the calendar cover up all the dates and rewrite yeah. uh, add your own spin to it so I'll do another week with you here and then um, I'll let you go because you don't need to sit here and watch me do it because this might take me a few hours I might even take a break for lunch because I don't know I'm just in one of those moods today alright let's go I did blue let's go purple on this page purple purple where's all my purple lovers Purple color. Perfect. don't, I mean, the month is on these little tabs here, right? These tabs, they have the month on them. So I don't need to see the month here. So I could take my washi tape all the way across it. Just to make it look neater. Any more purple? Yeah, let's stick 
くのでそのバラティアYou guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Everyone's weird gone so far. Okay, okay put that down. Now, yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me, my throat's getting dry. Let's put magical hand right here. Okie dokie. Okay, so there's page week two. I'm already ahead. Okay, so like I said, off camera, I'll just go in and fill in the correct dates. And I, I already have a calendar for next year. Ta -da -da. <laughs> So, in one of my doctor's appointments, or even a dentist, I, I mean, I already have a dentist appointment scheduled for next year. Oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. Yeah. Okay, what time are we at? 30 minutes? Yeah, I think 30 minutes is long enough for a, a planner session. <laughs> Alright. Um. If you tuned in and watched me, thank you for tuning in. Um, I know it wasn't too exciting, but usually 
I try to make some videos that are somewhat helpful. Alright, have a beautiful day. Bye.